All right. Hello. Everyone can hear me and all nicely and well? I hope so, because we are live and good to go. Hello, friends and fellow gamers. My name is Tempest Mask 1000 and I'm here with a bit of a, a triple header right now. A bit of a, I guess they say, Tempest block. Or at least what was once said in the Discord. Uh, hope you all ready for some uh, nice little Sega fun. I'm bringing three really cool stuff that's practically up my alley, so to speak, along with a brand new one that I'm showing off at the event for a first time. And um, yeah, so we're going to start things off with Gotta Go Fast. You love him, Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. And joining me is the very runner that inspired me to jump into this game and a very good friend of mine, Mr. Hypnotics Hibby himself. Hello, hello, folks. Hope you're all enjoying this good weekend of Sega Fun. I know the bits that I've tuned into have been great. And hey, you are in for a treat if you have not seen anything of Sega Sonic. Let me tell you that. Absolutely. So for those that don't know, as we uh, start this thing up, this game was Japanese exclusive. So of course, with this game being super hard to find and no, sadly, no modern ports available, what could have been in the Gems collection but was not meant to be. Uh, obviously, this is being run on MAME, and this is actually one of the few speed runs I do on keyboard. So uh, Hib will do enough commentary. Of course, I will have to begin once I select my character. So uh, Hib, who am I going to do? Uh, oh, my teeth, because I like my teeth. Right. Oops, oh, Sonic was like, sorry. All right. Time <laughs> starts. Let's go. Let's go. Time started now. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Time I ran out instead. I had 10 seconds. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So this game is very much a on the rails experience. What originally started as a game that you play on a trackball, uh, the movement can be a little bit funky when translating between, uh, say, a controller or even a keyboard, uh, but this game still does its best. It does pretty well, all things considered. MAME usually says that the one thing it doesn't do perfectly is graphics, but it's, it's pretty accurate as can be. Uh, we have seven different levels, where six of them are all alliteration names, as you'll see soon enough at the end of this one. Other than that, uh, whoop, yes, yeah, so just gotta get started and uh, outspeed some lava. So, Hib, take it away. Yeah, so these three characters, Sonic, this was also the introduction of Mighty and Ray. Fun fact, this, they appeared in the series before Knuckles did, but that doesn't matter because Knuckles is still the best. But they find themselves in, I can't remember quite what it's called, but and various natural and very unnatural um, sort of devastating uh, well, traps and different things that Eggman is pulling on them and they've got to get through this absolute gauntlet of obstacles and just challenges in general and Tempest making a volcanic bolt look fairly straightforward. That was a little weird, a little collision there Sonic had against the very edge of the wall. That must have been some phantom pixel. I don't usually see that happen to me. I'd, I'd say it, that's never happened before. Oh no, it's happened. So quite often you'll see in particular sort of a diagonal directional movement. Tempest will sort of be flickering between two keys and it will look like it's sort of stuttering side to side. And that's just a side effect of the emulation and something that is like we can't even mitigate it with joysticks or anything unless you I think you probably can make it a little bit better by sort of going into the fine fine tuning of things. But it's still a little bit awkward. But we are now I just wonder two. what it would be like if we actually were able to hook up trackball controllers because some things are possible. I know there are mouses that have those, but I really don't know how that stuff works, so I just don't bother yet. Yeah, I've heard that... So some people have managed to... The arcades are still about. This game is still able to be found in the wild. A lot of people still say that that is an issue, even with the trackball. So I think the controls are just fairly imperfect anyway regardless of uh, regardless of the flickering that you have to do from side Go to figure, side but yeah. I tell you what it makes it a little more linear a little more easier when it comes to using it on keyboard because having to sort of pedal the trackball is much more arduous compared to just pressing a pressing an arrow key so that's we let we let that slide on the leaderboards we let that slide for speedrunning this yeah. game uh, the camera doesn't like to always move immediately in this one. Like, I'm, I'm always positive. Wait, wait how did I fall there? <laughs> Funny animation. That was that was some jank collision. Sad. I was at the end of the level too. <laughs> we got a. Is there any any stipulation 
for uh, for falling off the well for for having to put in another credit. Uh, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I'll I'll I'll, I'll let you know at the end of the run. I think I got an idea. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty, on to Desert Dodge, yep, the alliteration is coming in strong and it wouldn't be a Sonic game without a sand slash desert themed level, so... Yeah, as you can see, a lot of themes, a lot of sort of repetition of different elements in this game. You can see these little sand hills, little sand mounds, they store rings in them, there are loads of other things. <laughs> good recovery, good recovery. All of these little sand, I don't know, just like it falling away are very hard to get around, especially when you need to, you know, flick your controls around and at the bottom of that quicksand um, is an enemy that can pick you up, so Tempest did a very good job to avoid that and yeah, so you'll see a whole load of reoccurring things, they might not look the same, but in theory most of these stages are definitely not the exact same, but very similar. Oh my um, we've got this guy chasing us, and he's doing quite the job at the moment, but... This game is really mad at me today for some reason. <laughs> That's alright, we've got money. We've got money, we we're, we're going through. Virtual, but very much, very much real. So this big centipede guy looks like he's posing a threat to us, um, but can't hit us whilst we're running through here for whatever reason, but we have yeah, now... Chasing. I know, he's just like... I'm gonna head out. I've, I've, I've had enough chasing this blue rat. <laughs> yeah. And then this is the last stretch of Desert Dodge, and lo and behold, there we are. There we go. By the way, this soundtrack is such a jam. Oh, Do yeah. Do a favor and listen to it if you ever can. Nonus, and we see a percentage of rings as well as the count. There is a all bonus category for this game and just in general you can pick up more rings than Tempest is doing here. They do increase your life bar but they also make their countdowns at the end a little bit longer and ring routes are a little more out of your way. So whenever we get 50% or more we get our bonus from each level and it makes the run a little bit different and a little stranger. Probably not quite as entertaining as this but um, ooh. Interesting, that was a very interesting, interesting moment. That <laughs> trap saved me. That's uh, that's that's funny. And yeah, trap tower. I know this is a bit of a favorite for some folks. Uh, we got a nice little trick to show coming up. A little ladder climbing to do, but particularly a very special quirk Smooth. about the programming that I love so much. If I can just get to there really quick. Hey, you didn't get flab flabbed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. All right. I know, that's usually the worst one. So we got the little trap hitting into an oil pile, which suddenly ignites just because I guess the torch might have been a little too close to the slightest sludge, and yeah, everything's going to heck. But yeah, there you go. So I just climb up the right side of the ladder. I keep going up. As long as I don't stop, none of those bomb explosions are going to hurt me whatsoever. Easy peasy. Nicely done. Nicely done. And folks, the uh, the sort of eagle-eared, I suppose, among you might have recognized that theme. If you've played Sonic Mania Plus and you've tried out the pinball minigame, you might have heard a, well, a reimagining. T. Lopes put his hands to the music-making machines and made a very funky version of that song. So once again, this soundtrack, that song as well, definitely worth your time if you get a chance to listen to them. And we are now onto Landslide Limbo, which has possibly the... St Ooh! Second try? Third try? Oh! That platform won't be there forever, Tempest! I know! <laughs> there we go. Nice. Come on, jump. Thanks, buddy. You're a pal. Okay. <laughs> uh... Nicely done. Yeah, oh, so man. this... This is one stage that has, I suppose, the... I don't know, the biggest sort of speedrun trick in this game, and it is incredibly awkward to pull off. I wouldn't be surprised if Tempest didn't go for it because it is un... well, it's very unsafe. And... I have no confidence in myself, quite honestly. <laughs> but that's all right. So this is our first boss of the game, and he has most points. You can land, like, a good hit on him, but there are... 
I don't know whether they're frames or just particular points on the boss where, you know, you'll you'll hit it one time and then you'll try and aim for the same spot and then you won't hit it. But it looks like Tempest has found a good spot, so it's going to keep on going. Couple more hits. Nice. Ooh. So this game, as you can tell, can be pretty consistent, but one kind of slip up can put you in a very awkward position. Like when it comes to trying to recover from potentially falling and all that stuff, it makes me wonder sometimes if letting myself fall is faster than just letting myself get changed, like chained in a, in a constant fall position. I don't know, man. It's so weird. Yeah, it's definitely a tough one. Right. I think uh, not only are we going to jump into the challenge that is World War 2 I think uh, Tempest is going to put himself to the challenge here. Um, oh, we're I currently starting up on this bridge. Um, everything, oh no, the door's trapped. And here we are. We are in the depths of World War 2 and lo and behold, whilst we're underwater, this is the quickest, well, well the quickest way for us to be going through this water. We just need a little bit of rubbing against the wall. We are all holding our breath. I hope everybody in chat is holding their breath as well. Um, you know, it's like those movie scenes where you're just like, I wonder if I can hold my breath as long as the movie stars. Um, who knows, but it's it's a challenge for all of us. I haven't gone for it, but um, I've done it many a time before and we are applauding Tempest for the effort that he's putting in at the moment. He is coming up to the end of this little underwater section. There is a little wall that you can climb up over here, and that is only the start of World War II. Well yep. done. Game that wasn't too bad. I just had a. I think I, I think I almost just felt a slight urge a couple of times to uh, <laughs> gulp or something. Yeah. So okay, here's the worst part of the stage, though, and this is where I'm going to more than likely die the most times. Yeah. So. Holding your breath is definitely not the challenge, World War II. With the controls that we've been talking about, this little section with the rafts is incredibly hard to get down, um, especially when, yeah, you just keep on bouncing off the walls like you're a pinball. But that is the first section. It doesn't get any easier near the top, which, you know, makes sense, arcade game. But Tempest is starting off well. Been good. That could have been good, but, oh, wait. Oh, I had a rhythm for a second. Yeah, there is a rhythm to these little these little sections up here, but you know, with uh, if we're getting bailed out by our parents, if we've got a couple more dimes in our dimes in our pocket, we can get through. Almost there, I reckon. One more. Yeah. Okay. Hey. I don't. I think I've lost track of how many times I've died. I'm afraid I haven't been counting either, Chief. But that's all right. We're getting through. We're getting through. Needless to say, this is easily the PB killer for me, but hey, Eggman's Tower, always, uh, always something, so you never know. Indeed, we have thrown alliteration out the window. That is the, the most devious thing that Eggman could have done here, so something is coming through, and now we have to worry about cycles, as if we didn't have enough to worry about in this game, with just everything being a little bit unkind. You know, arcade games have to be a little bit mean to you sometimes, but this is where it gets very mean. Um, but we're only bonking off these Sonic. funny, Sonic. these funny like spike things at the moment. So we're not actually taking damage. We're just you know, spending a little more time on the floor. But that's all right. Tempest has got first to the first step, first step. Yeah, aside from first stage of reactions with the uh, Eggman machine that captured us in the very beginning, that was, that was you know I I did manage to avoid actually getting spiked. Yeah, nicely done. So yeah, the inputs to do this optimally are incredibly precise, and I, they probably haven't been done, you know, more than a handful of times. So just sort of sometimes, sometimes the fastest thing you can do is just to take a little bit of time. You can see the Tempest was waiting for some of them to come down. You can jump over them, but there's very much a risk of still getting squashed. That was very nicely done in the end. I agree. Yeah. Hi. So, uh, just a little more level to go, and this is where things get interesting. So, at the end of time, that'll be once this level is complete, of course, but the thing about that is uh, we got two different endings. We call the good ending and the bad ending. And the good ending is what happens when I manage to escape the tower after a little self-destruct se sequence, once we quickly say hello to... Eggman! There he is. A very talented gentleman. The self-destruct sequence has been initiated. All personnel evacuate immediately. Repeat, all personnel evacuate immediately. 
Alrighty, so Sonic's got to do some wriggling down these ramps. It is either going to be a good or a bad ending. It's looking all right on time at the moment, but it's either going to be when he gets out. And he's going to get out. Time. Nicely Ooh. done. Ooh, hang on a second. That's a. Is that a. Hold on, I got to see what that one was. It's looking like a 1320 uh, roundabout. 30, yeah, 1320. Could could that very well be? I forgot. I always I always don't seem to do a good job keeping track of my PB. <laughs> it's definitely a, it's definitely a new PB on SRC, but I don't know whether that's been up to date. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I new SRC new SRC PB. I'll take that. Yeah, I. I did get another one the last time I ran this in an event. I just kind of forgot to upload it. I'll I'll fix that soon. But hey, we'll we'll call it a PB. Let's go. Yeah. Nicely done. And folks, enjoy the funny-looking character portraits in the uh, in the final credits. And in fact, the credits are just quite amusing near the end as well. So um, yeah, Tempest, lead them out. What uh, any shout-outs related to this game that you'd like to do? Of course. A shout out to the classic Sonic community for. Uh, essentially being host to this game among many other classic Sonic games. Uh, you all know who you are. If you want to check out the leaderboards for those games, of course, we got a whole bunch of stuff on SRC, and if you want to learn any of these games, you can go to our Discord server where you can uh, talk with a whole plethora of people that I'm sure would be willing to get you all sorted out and stuff. As for me, of course, this is not the end of my little tenure just yet. I've got Mega Man coming up next, and that's going to be quite a time. Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and um just for folks and interested we would we did do a little bit of talking about the community if you are interested in this game at all the sonic speedrun community events team are going to be throwing a little tournament for this game it is as you saw it can be done in 13 minutes 32 or it can be done even quicker sometimes and you are more than welcome to you know, come over to that space and learn this game. It really doesn't take too long. It's very easy one to learn, hard one to master, and yeah, we can we can help you out if you're interested. But I think Absolutely. that's as far as my shout outs go for this game. This game's oh, done right. a lot for me and it's good fun. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining me, Hebby. Always appreciate it. Thank you for thank you for inviting me. And uh, one other thing, shout out to our buddy S2. He was going to join us today, but unfortunately something came up. So we love you, man. And I know I'll be seeing you around. Uh, go check out his tutorial. He actually uploaded a tutorial if you want to learn this game for yourself the, the like, and follow a certain set of instructions on what you need to do and stuff. It's really, really nice. Indeed. But yeah, with that, um, I'll be back with Mega Man very soon. So yep. hang tight, folks. All Best right. Good luck with the Mega Man. Yep, and we will be right back as we just get set up with the other game. Uh, give us about another minute or two, and we'll be right back.